हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल फ्रॉम योर चैनल आदित्य बाइट सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ऑन मलेरिया इंट्रोडक्शन एंड लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ प्लाज्मोडियम इट्स अ ट्रांसमिटिंग एजेंट दैट इज एनोफिलिस मॉस्किटो फीमेल एनोफिलिस मॉस्किटो इट्स सिम्टम्स ट्रीटमेंट्स प्रिवेंशन ओवरऑल कॉन्सर्ट विल डिस्कस ऑन दिस टॉपिक इन द वीडियो नाउ सो स्टे ट्यून विद द वीडियो सो लेट्स मूव ऑन नाउ so this is the uh, transmitting agent of uh, malaria here the female anopheles mosquito so now plasmodium it is a protozoa here uh, also known as the malarial parasite now let's see on so first we need to understand uh, know the scientific classification uh, it belongs to the kingdom animalia phylum protozoa class telospora subclass Cosidia, order Ecosida, uh, genus uh, Plasmodium, and species Vivax. As you can clearly see here. Let's move on now. So Plasmodium or malarial parasite. Plasmodium is a parasitic protozoa, an endoparasite, blood parasite, intracellular parasite, and uh, pathogenic parasite. Charles Laveron in 1880 first discovered Plasmodium, the causative agent of malaria in blood of man. Okay, let's move on now. So there are four species of Plasmodium parasite which are infected, which are infectious to humans here, and they are Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale, and Plasmodium malaria. And Plasmodium falciparum causes uh, malignant malaria here. And vivax causes benign torsion malaria. Ovale causes uh, uh, mild benign torsion malaria, and uh, malaria causes uh, benign quartan malaria. And uh, uh, among all these species, the most dangerous species is Plasmodium falciparum. As you can clearly see here. Let's move on now. Now let's discuss on uh, life cycle of Plasmodium here. Plasmodium is digenetic, with man being an intermediate secondary host. Female Anopheles mosquito as primary definitive host. Okay, an asexual phase called cytogony in RBCs and liver cells of man, and sexual phase involving gametogony and sporogony in gut wall and salivary gland of female Anopheles mosquito. In intermediate or secondary host, uh, which is man here, the asexual life cycle takes place, and uh, in primary or definitive host, that is in fam. Sexual life cycle occurs. Okay, now let's discuss on it in detail. Now let's move on. Now, so guys, uh, this is the overall cycle of uh, Plasmodium here. As you can clearly see, uh, here is a cycle of a human, where a sexual cycle completes, and this is the cycle in mosquito where sexual cycle completes. So what happens first is the mosquito bites a person, then it inoculates. a sporozoite into the blood and then uh, it travels to the liver matures there and uh, forms a merozoite which again uh, invades uh, rbcs and after all the processes uh, many cycles here uh, ery erythrocyte forms a gametocyte here the male gametocyte and female gametocyte and again when the mosquito bites to that infected person uh, then uh it sucks up the blood with all the stages including gametocyte into its uh, into its stomach where the sexual life cycle starts here you can see uh the microgamete and macrogamete is being formed from the gametocyte here and then the fusion occurs and zygote is formed and again after some time the motile structure called ukinet is formed which invades the stomach wall and forms a oocyst here which is the stage here uh, which forms a sporozoite and after the repeated division the cyst is burst out and uh, the sporozoite is released and which is carried to the salivary gland again into the um, mosquito's mouth and again with when it bites to the person again the same process or whole cycle repeats so this was the overall concept for uh, uh, life cycle of plasmodium now let's see the 
sexual and asexual phases in detail one by one. Let's move on now. So let's first discuss asexual phase or cytogony man. Uh, there are three cycles that is perirythrocytic cycle, exoerythrocytic cycle, and erythrocytic cycle. Perirythrocytic cycle infection occurs through inoculated blood by infected fam containing a sporozoite, which is the infective stage for humans here. A sporozoite enters into liver and in this cycle cryptozoites are formed at last okay now let's see exoerythrocytic cycle the cryptozoites obtained from the preerythrocytic cycle grow into cytokines in liver and divides into meta cryptozoites uh, that is micro and macro in sizes and uh, the macro meta cryptozoites enters liver cell and starts liver cytokine again and the micro meta cryptomerozoites enters into rbc and starts the erythrocytic cycle so this was the concept here guys now let's move on now uh, in erythrocytic cycle what happens is actually takes place in blood in rbc and have many stages and at last forms some merozoites and the gametocytes as we have already discussed in the life cycle diagram now let's move on now so this is the diagram for erythrocytic phase and exoerythrocytic phase here. Here first what happens is the sporozoite which is the infective stage here uh, invades liver cell as it has the proteolytic enzyme in it it invades the liver cell and then after to that uh, it forms a cryptomerozoites okay and this cryptomerozoites again attacks the new liver cells and uh, alternatively form meta cryptomerozoites which are different uh, in shapes that is micro and macro meta cryptozoites and uh, this was all about the cytogony in liver so now let's move on now let's see again so for more uh, clearance you can see in the diagram here here the sporozoite entering into the liver cells then uh, it uh, uh, grows up and forms in a trophozoite stage then cytokines and then cryptozoites are formed and they are liberated again and again the cryptozoites entering another liver cells again trophozoite stage cytokines is formed and the meta cryptozoites at last is released in the exoerythrocytic cycle which are different shapes that are micro and macro the micro one attacks rbc's to enter erythrocytic cycle and the macro one infects another liver cell and again repeats the process. So this was the overall concept for uh, pre erythrocytic cycle and exoerythrocytic cycle here. Let's move on now. Now let's see erythrocytic cycle. Uh, the micro meta cryptozoids which is obtained from the second generation of merozoids that is from exoerythrocytic cycle uh, invades RBC here which feeds on uh, hemoglobin and forms a feeding stage called trophozoite here. And after to that, a vacuole is formed which pushes the nucleus to the periphery and forms a ring-like structure called signaling ring stage here, as you can clearly see. And then an irregular shaped amoeba-like structure is formed, so-called amoeboid stage. Then cytokines and, and then at last hemozoin granules are formed here, which is formed from the hematin of hemoglobin, which is actually responsible for the fever during malaria. And at last what happens is uh, merozoites are released from the cell and uh, few of them attack new RBCs and again repeat the process and few of them goes for the differentiation into gametocytes that is macro gametocytes and micro gametocytes and these two structure again takes part uh, in sexual reproduction in female anopheles mosquitoes gut. So this was the overall concept for all the phases of asexual life cycle now let's see about the sexual life cycle here so sexual cycle in mosquito infection of mosquito occurs when fam bites infected man and sucks blood with all stages erythrocytic cycle along with gametocytes as we have already discussed guys now let's see the three stages that is gametogony fertilization and sporogony in gametogony what happens is gametogenesis occurs that is a formation of a male gamete and female gamete and male gamete is formed by a special process called X flagellation here. 
now and then after today fertilization occurs zygote formation occurs uh, and uh, ukinate and oocyst formation occurs in the fertilization process and then sporogony here sporozoids are formed and then uh, it arrives in salivary gland of mosquito this was the overall concept for sexual cycle in mosquito now let's see the process here life cycle of uh, life cycle in female anopheles mosquito as you can clearly see here here are microgametocytes and macrogametocytes which are obtained from the erythrocytic cycle okay uh, after to that what happens is uh, the male gamete and female gametes are formed after successive divisions and male gamete is formed by a special process called x flagellation here and after to that uh, male and female gametes are fused together to form a zygote and after and after uh, a motile structure is also formed which is called ukinate here and then this ukinate penetrates uh, into the uh, stomach wall and enter into it and then it forms a oocyst stage oocyst stage and then uh, after a nucle some nuclear divisions uh, cytoplasmic mass has increased and the uh, formation of a sporozoite occurs and after um, many successive divisions of a sporozoites uh, the sporozoites liberates from the cell comes out from the cell and then the sporozoites travels to the salivary gland and gets stored there and again when the mosquito bites to the another person then the person again gets the infected and again the whole process repeats so this was the overall concept guys about uh, the life cycle of uh, plasmodium as for more clearance as you can clearly see here here the male and female gametes are getting fused from zygote ukinate is forming oocyst are formed sporozoite and then again they are uh, they are liberated outside and then by this and by this pathway they are stored in the salivary gland this was the overall concept guys okay so now let's move on now let's see malaria is symptoms treatment and prevention so what are the symptoms here now symptoms includes a headache systemic fever muscular fatigue or pain back pain skin chills and sweating the main symptom here respiratory dry cough spleen enlargement uh, stomach nausea and vomiting so this was the overall symptoms of malaria here now let's see some drugs which are used to treat malaria here uh, as you can clearly see among them chloroquine chloroquine quinine mefloquinine are the important alkaloids here which are um, mainly used to treat uh, malaria okay and this uh, chloroquinine is obtained from the bark of cinchona plants also so guys this was our concept for the drugs here now let's move on as you can clearly see here the chloroquine 100 mg tablet is, is here it is used against the malaria as prescribed by the doctor and available in the market too so this was all about now let's move on now let's see the prevention and control uh, very clear methods are uh, elimination of mosquito breeding places of course national improvements on health and hygiene use of mosquito nets treated with uh, pyrethrin clothing with sleeves and long trousers use of mosquito repellents a young children and pregnant women should avoid traveling to areas where malaria is common so this was the common prevention and controls also you can use a mosquito fish that is gambusia affinis uh, actually it kills the pupa and larva as it feeds upon it so this was, so this was the biological control too uh, so these are the things you can apply on so guys this was all about the malaria introduction and life cycle of plasmodium the asexual and sexual life cycles our symptoms treatments and prevention so this was all about this was the overall concept on it so so guys if you like the video and if uh, and if the video is effective for you then please like share and subscribe the channel okay so for today this much only thank you bye bye